அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு சதீஷ் சயின்ஸ் டீச்சர் யூடியூப் சேனல் இஃப் யூ ஆர் விசிட்டிங் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் திஸ் யூடியூப் சேனல் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் திஸ் சேனல் அண்ட் டூ ஷேர் வித் யுவர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ இந்த சதீஷ் சயின்ஸ் டீச்சர் அப்படின்ற இந்த யூடியூப் சேனலில் நாட் ஓன்லி ஃபார் சயின்ஸ் இதில் வந்து நான் சோஷியல் சயின்ஸும் செவன்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்டுக்கு போட்டிருக்கேன் ஸோ இனி வர காலங்களில் சோஷியல் சயின்ஸ்லேயும் ஒன் மார்க் கொஷின்ஸ் போடலான்ட்டுருக்கேன் ஏன்னா நிறைய டிஎன்பிசி எக்ஸாமுக்கு ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணுறவங்க எங்கிட்ட வந்து சோஷியலுக்கும் போடுங்க அப்படின்னு கேட்டிருக்காங்க அதனால் அதுக்கும் நான் ஆன்சர்ஸ் போட போகிறேன் ஸோ சயின்ஸ் தான் பிரதானம் அது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் சில ஜென்ரலாக ஒன் மார்க் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வந்து ஒரு டாபிக் கீழே கவர் பண்ணுறதாகவும் ஒரு ஐடியா இருக்குது ஸோ எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஹீட் அப்படின்னா என்ன ஹீட்டோட யூனிட்ஸ் என்ன அது வந்து சிக்ஸ்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் செவன்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் எயித்து ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் புக்கெல்லாம் இருக்கிறதெல்லாம் கம்பைன் பண்ணி ஒரு வீடியோவில் கொடுக்கலான்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஸோ ரொம்ப ஈஸியாக இருக்கும் டிஎன்பிசி ஆஸ்பிரன்ஸ்க்கு ஸோ அந்த ஒரு ஐடியாவும் இருக்கும் ஸோ என்னோடய வீடியோவில் எல்லா வீடியோவுமே உங்களுக்கு யூஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்கணும் அதுதான் என்னோடய ஆசை ஸோ வாங்க நம்ம வீடியோக்குள்ளே போகலாம் வீடியோ எங்கேயுமே ஸ்கிப் பண்ணாமல் பாருங்கள் உங்கள் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸுக்கு ஷேர் பண்ணுங்கள் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ண மறக்காதீங்க பக்கத்தில் இருக்க பெல் பட்டனே கிளிக் பண்ணிக்கோங்க அப்போ தான் என்னோடய வீடியோஸ்லாம் சட் சட்டுன்னு உங்களை வந்து சேர்ந்துடும் ஸோ வாங்க லெட் சி டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி தி புக் வாக் எவாலுவேஷன்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் சிக்ஸ் டேர்ம் த்ரீ யூனிட் டூ வாட்டர் சூஸ் அப்ராப்ரியட் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் Around 97% of water available on Earth is dash water, salty water. So in the Earth, the water which is found around 97% of water is salty water. So salty water is available on Earth. So in the Earth, the water which is found only 3% is for human consumption. The rest of the 97% of water is not for human consumption because they are in oceans and seas. Which of the following is not a part of water cycle? So evaporation, condensation, rain, all are take all are the part of water cycle, whereas the distillation is not a part of the water cycle. Which of the following processes add water vapor to the atmosphere? The transpiration, transpiration occurs in the plants through the stomatal opening. The stomatas are present in the lower side of the leaf. So during the transpiration, the oxygen is released from the plants. So in this uh, along the water vapor. So transpiration is one of the process by the water vapors are added to the atmosphere. The next one is precipitation. Precipitation is not the process of water vapor to the atmosphere because precipitation is nothing but the rain. So it removes the water molecules from the atmosphere and condensation is also not there. Whereas the evaporation, evaporation takes place uh, in the water bodies. So when the sunlight comes, heated up heated up the water of the water bodies then the water vapors are formed these water vapors are continuously mixed into the atmosphere so transpiration is from the plants and evaporation from the water bodies so these two processes are adding the water vapor to the atmosphere continuously so the answer is option c 1 and 4 about 30% of the fresh water is found in ground water using ro ro means reverse osmosis plant at home eliminates a lot of non potable water the best way to effectively use of expelled water to ro plant is use it for watering the plants use it for watering the plants next is fill in the blank section only 0.3% of natural water is available for human consumption so 97% of water is in found in salty that is oceans and seas the remaining 3% is available for human consumption among that only 0.3 is uh, purely available for human consumption the process of changing water into vapors is called evaporation dam is built on rivers to regulate the water flow and distribute the water water levels in rivers increases greatly during raining water cycle is also called as hydrological cycles next is true or false false give the correct statement section water present in rivers lakes and ponds is unfit for use by human beings it is a false statement correct statement is water present in rivers lakes and ponds is fit for use by human being seas are formed when the water table meets the land surface it is a false statement lakes are formed when the water table meet the land surface the evaporation of water takes place only in sunlight it is a true statement condensation results in the format of dew on the grass true sea water can be used for irrigation such it's a false statement sea water cannot be used for irrigation or otherwise the fresh water can be used for irrigation match the following flood flood is increased during the raining season you know so increased rainfall surface water surface water is found in lake 
sunlight sunlight is uh, responsible for evaporation from the water bodies cloud cloud is nothing but the co collection of water vapors frozen water it is in polar region like uh, south and north poles so next one is arrange the following statements in the correct sequence among that the third point is the first point the heat of the sun causes evaporation of water from surface to the earth oceans lakes rivers and other water bodies so second point is the fifth one water vapor is also continuously added to the atmosphere through the transpiration from the surface of the leaves of the trees higher up in the atmosphere the air is cool these water vapors condenses to form tiny droplets of waters and the fifth point is the last one these droplets floating in the air along with the dust particles from clouds so warm air is carrying clouds rises up the water droplets come together to form large water droplets and the eighth point is the fourth one the larger water droplets become heavy and the air cannot hold them therefore they fall as rains so next one is analogy section analogy section is also very very important because in the TNPC examinations, analogy questions are frequently asked. So, population explosion is lead to water scarcity. If you do, do the recycle, the answer is water management. Groundwater, tube well. The groundwater is obtained from tube well, whereas the surface water is readily available in lakes. So, groundwater, tube well, surface water, lakes. So, next is crossword puzzles. A method of water conservation that is recycling. The process of getting water wafer from sea water evaporation. Water stored in dams used for generation of electricity. Ocean is a large body of non-potable water found in nature. In summer, the body loses water as sweat. The plants undergo transpiration and contribute to water cycle. So the matter of water conservation is recycling. The process of getting water vapor from seawater is evaporation. The water stored in dams is used for generation of electricity. See this table. The first one is recycling downwards. And the second one is evaporation. And the third one is ocean. Fourth one is sweat. And the fifth one is transpiration and the sixth one is electricity so next observe the given graph carefully and answer the question section see this picture along the x-axis the tomato chicken fish human body watermelon and pineapples are there in the y-axis they are giving the percentage of water found in those items so the first question is what percentage of water is seen in fishes only 70 percent of water Name the food item that has maximum amount of water is in content, watermelon. Name the food item that has minimum amount of water in its content, fish. Human body consists of about 60% of water. Specify the food item that can be consumed by a person when he or she is suffering from dehydration is watermelon because watermelon has the highest water capacity, water containing capacity. So see this tomato has 85%, chicken has 78% and fish is 70%, human body contains 66% of water, watermelon is found nearly 20, 85% of water present in the watermelon and pineapple is nearly 83%. So highest water content is found in the watermelon only. Okay, So if, uh, if the, uh, he or she is suffering from water dehydration pro problem, definitely they can consume they could consume they should consume the watermelon for avoiding the dehydration that's all so that's all about the one mark work evaluation so please don't forget to subscribe if you are first time visitor in this youtube channel and also watch the social science uh, solutions from sound standard also in the in this youtube channel that you can easily located in playlist so that's all about today's class. So thanks for listening. Thank you.